Sarah's off getting her hair done ready for the holiday. Uh, so I thought I'd bring you along and show you what we're going to get up to today. A bit of cleaning to do. We're going to make a lovely beef stew and dumplings today because it is very wet outside today. Even though it's July, it's very wet and, and, and very, not cold, but it, it's a nice day to have a beef stew and dumplings. And uh, Sarah likes a beef stew, so I thought I'd bring you along. Show you how I make my beef stew. We're going to do it in a slow cooker. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Do a bit of tidying up first. And then uh, I just thought I'd bring you along. Uh, if you like the videos, please give them a thumbs up and a like. And please subscribe to our channel. We are a new channel. Uh, and, you know, uh, we want to keep doing this. And the more people that start following us, the more we'll do it. Uh, we do enjoy it. And... Uh, it's a bit of everything really, it's just as it says in the title, what our life, what we get up to. Uh, so yeah, it would be nice if uh, you could do that, it don't cost you anything. And it just helps our channel grow. Anyway, let's get into it, Miss and me waffling on. <sighs> See what I mean about a lovely wet morning? I do like I do like the rain, I do like the cold weather. I don't want to get too hot all the time, but yeah, as I say, it is a perfect day for uh, a uh, shoe. I was hoping to get out in the garden and do a bit of gardening today, but uh, get the grass cut and that, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Anyway, we must get on and do this stew, like I said. Let's join us in the kitchen. Uh, let's have a look at all these lovely products we've got going on here. Alright, my lovely, so uh, we've got some, uh, some of a ray of stuff that's going into the um, stew obviously we're gonna have the the beef uh, we've got nice onion some chantini carrots uh, some little baby onions there some little shallots that are gonna go in whole even though we're gonna put this onion we're gonna put these shallots in whole nice swede there some of these some bay leaves and um, some rosemary and the parsley we're going to put into the dumplings when we make the dumplings we're also going to put in some uh, tomato paste and some tomatoes themselves and also some beef stock and uh, I'll probably put in a little bit of uh, just some nice red wine Nice fruity and uh, red wine. Yeah, so that's that's what we're probably going to put in into there. So anyway, let's get down to it.
Let's look at these carrots, they're lovely. Beautiful. Literally just gonna peel these little um, shallots and just put them in in whole. That's all I'm going to do. It's as simple as that. can see guys I've now got all the vegetables prepped ready to go into the slow cooker so uh, I do like the root vegetables to be nice and chunky this is ideal chunky food look at them yeah so I've seasoned as you saw in the video I've seasoned the beef with the flour and the salt and pepper we're obviously going to put in some of this lovely stuff here and we've also got a lovely pot of beef stock that's going to go in and I will be putting in towards the end mushrooms as well, there can't be a bit of mushrooms so uh, let's get onto it and I'll show you how I put it all together very simple right so what I've done is I've warmed my pan up or the slow cooker and I'm just going to put a lovely glog of extra virgin oil, you see that there. Then I am going to put in a three teaspoons of the tomato puree. Like that. Uh, and then um, I'm going to add all my vegetables, they're all going in. Such a simple dish, this. Put it on in the morning. Takes a little prep, but it all comes good in the end. And I'm gonna put in the beef as well. That beef's going in. Uh, I'm going to give it just a little tiny little mix mix around with a spoon if I can find one. Just gonna mix it all together. Get the that in. Just get the beef mixing round. And I'm going to put in 600 mils, or just over, I've got actually 900 mils of beef stock here. Just to get it like that. Like that. Get that all lovely done. And what I am going to do is I am going to put in some chopped 
half a tin of chopped tomatoes. Just like that. Then I'm going to add the bay leaves. Bay leaves there. The, the sprig of thyme's going in. I just take it off the stems, put them in like that. Like that. Give it a nice little uh, scooch in. And that is basically it. So that's the stew in there. I'm going to set it on my timer down, set it down here on low because we're going to cook this now for five hours. The time is half past ten. So we'll check back on it. Uh, noticed that I haven't put in the tomorrow the the mushrooms. The mushrooms I'm, I am going to put in towards the end. Oh, there is one thing that I will put in, uh, and that is some pearl barley. You can't get a pit oh, pearl barley. I just love pearl barley. So nice. It does look a lot, but hey. I do like the pearl barley, so I just give that a stir in. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna let that cook down now for five hours and uh, come back to it. So see you in a bit. A bit more house cleaning now. I've done all my little chores that I wanted to get done, cleaned out a few cupboards, get the kitchen a nice clean down, the uh, casserole is cooking in there lovely now, it's coming on, starting to smell nice in the kitchen, so a little bit there, that's it. and uh, so I thought Sarah will be home shortly, so I thought I'd just uh, just have a bit of lunch. I'll just show you. Let's get move this camera on slightly. So I buy these um, Metro rolls from Aldi's, and they're a bit like what you get in a Subway. That's what they look like, and they are nice. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, I've cut it open, and I'm literally I'll just take you to the uh, to this. I'm literally going to. Uh, Put it into the Ninja. Switch this on. So we're going to put it on. Uh, I'm going to it on. We're going to put it on air fry um, there. And the time I'm going to put it on for is I'm just going to put it on for three minutes. Start that now. Basically, what I want to do is. Um, uh, just take that's what I'm aiming to do and then what I'm going to do is go into the fridge yeah, I've got some ham and some cheese so I'll taste that in a ninja there for three minutes and I'm going to uh, just put some cheese in it, put some cheese in it and some ham in it and then just put it back in there for a couple of minutes and that would be my lunch. So that, a cup of coffee, sit down have a bit of lunch and then uh, I think I'm going to watch Shawshank Redemption film because I love it. I've watched it many times but I do love it and then uh, be time to relax in the evening. Let's just have a look. I'll show you the uh, the stew here. You can, you can see the stew there coming on lovely now. 
I mean I've only got it on I've only got it on low but yeah it's starting to come on lovely now so I, I always put a cloth over and then I, I put something just to hold it down a little bit line so that's what I do yeah. so we're, we're all good to go really so what I've done is um, I've toasted it it is crispy it don't look toasted but it is so I'm basically going to get some ham which I also got from Aldi's Slice of that in, like that. Some cheese, just like that. Just like that, as you can see. Then I am going to pop it back into the air fryer like that. I'm going to put it back in here. I'm going to on air fry. So temperature I'm going to leave uh, air fry. So 200 temperature. Time I'm going to put on there for another three minutes. I'm going to press the start and then hopefully be nice and melted, lovely. See that's lovely now, nice and melted, be nice and crispy and hot. Let's take it out. Wouldn't that be my lunch? A nice Subway cheese and ham. Okay my lovelies. Alright, so the time is now gone five o'clock. So the shoe the stew's been obviously look at that in the uh, smoker cooker all that time. Uh, I did put the uh, the mushrooms in there earlier on. Look at the steam. So uh, what we need to do now is uh, basically we're going to put in the uh, dumplings to do now. So as you can see here, I'll just go down here, go up here. I've made the, uh, I've done the dumplings. I might have gone a little bit over the top with the, with the parsley in there. But, uh, so basically it's just uh, four ounces of suet, four ounces of self-raising flour, salt, pepper, and the parsley. And then I've mixed it all together to make a nice little dough with the water. And all I'm going to do is just place them, obviously, into the stew. And I'm just going to leave that now to cook down. Ideally, you'd want to be putting this into an oven, really, because you want the uh, dumplings to go a little bit crispy on the top. But that ain't going to happen. So I'm going to just put it back in here. I've got the lid on because I can't get the thing in the thing. So I'm just going to put them in there. Oh, I'll say about half an hour. So they're cooked and plumped up, they should double in size and then go from there. Uh, and uh, yeah, all good. I've obviously seasoned it again and added a bit of Worcestershire sauce and some gravy going. It was just because it was a bit tomatoey, so I wanted to uh, make it a bit more beefy, but it's coming good. And uh, obviously, I've got the potatoes chopped and part by boiling them up half an hour and then we'll when they when they're cooked we'll mash them up add some butter and some cream james martin style and go from there see in a bit lovelies all right so there's the stew lovely stew nicely done and we're just going to put a nice dollar to finish it off That's what you call a lovely winter warmer beef stew.